Welcome to the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. I'm Michael Karianis, and again, a revamp lineup today. We've got Brent Reid. Hello, mate. Hello, Reedy. How are you? Yeah, that's a bit I'm too very good. enthusiastic. Okay. So and, <laughs> and Russ Jackson, Thanks. fresh from signing himself from yeah, Malaysia. Malaysia, Welcome thank back. you very much. Wow. Very fresh, yeah. How's rugby, league? yeah. How's rugby league in Malaysia? Oh, fantastic. It's huge. Remember it's when huge. Super League yeah. was going to take over China? Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Malaysia's near China, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. Really it's it's it was a bit, a bit cooler in Lang. I was in Langkawi for the last week. It was 37 degrees. I think it was really? a bit cooler than Darwin. That's a beach so, town, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they play games in Darwin, so why not play in Malaysia? There you go. Would you go to a game in Malaysia? If it's in Langkawi, I would. Would yeah. go on. All right. Take Parramatta. We should take Parramatta over there. Oh, Parramatta! Can't win, in, can't win in okay. Darwin. Well, you started with Parramatta. Oh, we start with uh, Parramatta. Well, you, it's not you even on the run. Wow. It's not even on the, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Where are Parramatta at in terms of the? Their performances, what Brad Arthur's comments were post-game and, and what it means for the rest of the season. Uh, can I use the word crisis time? Uh, it's two words. Uh, well, they're in all sorts, aren't they? Parramatta at the moment. And this was horrific, their performance on the weekend. And Brad was pretty brutal with the troops, wasn't he? Basically laid, laid the blame squarely at their feet. Mm. We'll see if they respond. And uh, if they don't respond, I don't know, where, where do you go next? You've that, got... That's the thing, right? Yeah. There's, there's a couple of things in that to, to unpack. It's Brad's comments, which I thought were warranted. Yep. Because, yeah, they were warranted. Um, what I didn't like about it, Michael, though, is it's the coach's job to get the players to aim up. Yeah. No, so it's all uh, yeah. well and good to point your finger at them. Mm. No, no, there has to be a level of accountability okay? too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's <laughs> got to be a level of accountability yes. as well. But he's challenged his players and then if they don't respond on Friday against Manly, then where do you turn to, Russ, yeah. after that? Well, it's, it's effort, isn't it? He's like, Reed, he's 100% right. Um, he, he's got to find something. He's got to find a way to motivate these guys. That was, that was just pathetic. I'm, <laughs> I only saw snippets of... Uh, of this uh, while I was uh, falling asleep in, by the pool in, in Malaysia. But, uh, <laughs> was it on Malaysian television? Or it was on uh, Watch NRL app. Oh, you course, got the Watch okay. NRL app, which is a bloody fantastic uh, product. Yep. But, um, I mean, BA's got this record now of the most games coached at a club without a premiership. At one two, club, yeah. So 261. So Brian Smith, who we've yeah. uh, whacked a few times, is 243. So That's he has who, flying who we overtook in. at Parramatta for yeah. so the most games yeah. coached at yeah. Parramatta. Yeah. I mean, but Sticky's second, but uh, at least he did win a comp at the Chooks a while ago. But, um, yeah. Is there is... any hope for Parramatta for the rest of the year, Eddie? Or do you see him in the top eight Mitch, side? Not while Mitch is out. I don't think they can... But how does... Okay, they can't can win that, consistently right? while Mitch is Mitch out. Mitch doesn't fix what happened against the Dolphins. No, no, no. Mitch no. Doesn't, fix doesn't fix the middle. What happened what against that? the Raiders. No, no. No, I agree. Maybe what, the Tigers game. What I'm saying is there's no hope without him, though. Mm. Um, and, you know, young Ethan Sanders gets a start this week. Been pushing that for a while now to try and get Ethan in the team. Brad's listened. Finally, Brad. Finally listened. <laughs> As Bray said last night on 360, you're not a coach, Brad. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, but the, the issue is, you know, it, it's fine to have one bad performance. That yeah. happens occasionally. Yeah. They've had two and three weeks. If they turn around and have another three and four yeah. weeks, that's when there's real pressure on the coach because... I mean, there's pressure on Brad now, but it just intensifies. It ramps the, like, up. With Parramatta, like, there's a real... I don't sense there's an, ur- an urgency around Brad's future no, at the, all. No, the urgency's external. Mm. I don't think within the club there's any there's any sense that Brad's in, je- in danger of losing his job anytime soon. In the short term, right? But, yeah. but they're, they are monitoring things. It's not as if they're, mm. they're just sitting back going, oh, it doesn't matter what the results are, Brad's fine. They're keeping an eye on things because particularly because two of the last three performances have been so dire. Mm. You know, as a football club, and they're not a, they're not a reactive football club, no, they're not a knee-jerk no. football club, they're very deliberate, they're very thoughtful in the way they go about things. They go, they move, at times they move too slowly. Yeah, I think yeah, there's an acknowledgement yeah. of that yeah. across the game. So they're not going to move quickly, but when you have two at a par- past three games are that bad, if you then repeat it again for the next one, two, three weeks, that's when I think the real, real pressure will will be applied within the club as opposed to where it is now, mm. which is mainly externally. What do you make it? Like, Russell, can they salvage anything out of the rest of this year? No, oh, look, it can't get any... It, surely it can't get any worse. Can we, can we just, are you Hang OK, on, mate? I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay? I don't know. What's, it's just this before we went on air. You're nervous. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Russ is very intimidating. It's just the left side, right side It's throwing him, hasn't he? You probably, I know, yeah. Well, Reedy reckons he was sitting here last week, but he wasn't. Buzz was sitting there. Sitting on the... Right edge. He's gone left edge. Let's right go to the video edge. tape. Would there you really a, like to do that? <laughs> there was a major studio. A studio <laughs> yeah. Reedy might have said, "Do you know who I am? I sit on the right." Don't um, be nervous, Michael. Anyway. You've done it before. You're good at it. 
Don't be nervous. All right. But surely it can't get worse than... If it does well, get, it worse get worse for Parramatta... It gets it worse get for worse. Parramatta. Who are they? I've forgotten who they've got this week. Barely on Friday. Well, that could be bad. They could. Vale, Tommy will points. torch them. He could do. The way they play. Yeah, Tommy will torch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we talk yeah. about, yeah, Mitch isn't there and all that, but the middles have got to aim up as well. Yeah. I mean, if those, if those middles don't aim, Tommy's going to score six tries. Yeah. It, it will become, obviously, you know, Jason Demetrio is still under pressure, but... Um, the pressure will, will fall on Brad Arthur's shoulders even more if they don't aim up after what he said post game. Yeah, no doubt, so well, no doubt a, about it's, that. It's, there's not the urgency that's happening at South Sydney, but it no. could get to that point at some stage. Yeah, but I think it's I think we're a few weeks off that. Yeah, week. I agree. I don't yeah. think that's any time yeah. soon. I think I agree. if they string together three, four bad performances like the one yeah. the, the other night, yeah. then I think we'll Do you be see talking him about the finals. It. No, no. Right. Well, you and, know, they're, and they're talking a good game about how much Brad Arthur means to them. They die for him and all this sort of stuff. We'll find out this week yeah. how much Brad Arthur means to them because right now he's they're sharpening. I don't care what anyone says. The, the axe is being sharpened. Mm. Another performance like that against the Dolphins and there's there's trouble at Paramount. Can I throw a coach at you if they decide to change? Mm. Because I think Wayne will. I think Wayne will go to South Sydney. Yeah. Jason Riles. Can I throw that name at you? You can. Because Craig but, Craig will go on next year in Melbourne. Riles has gone down there yeah. with a view to becoming the successor. Mm. I think if Craig Bellamy goes on another year... I, I think, think Parramatta are mad if they don't do everything in their power to get Wayne Bennett. Yeah, everything I, I, in their power. I don't, Mick, I think by then... It, the, I think well, by then, then, then South heard. will have acted. Then they've heard. In, because yeah. what they need... But we've is, just spoken about they're not they, a reactive well, club. Well, they're slow. They move slowly. If they end up punting Brad Arthur and Wayne Bennett's on the market and doesn't end up Parramatta, they've got it wrong. I don't care who they get. They've got it wrong. Yeah. Because they're yeah, in a window yeah. now where they've got all these senior players. We talked Mitch. We could talk Clint Gutherson. We talked Junior, Reg, Ryan Madison. These guys are all 30 or thereabouts or on the other side of 30. They've got a two-year window with yeah. these blokes. Right? I don't think a rookie coach... For, and we, He's oh, a rookie coach. A rookie, he's a rookie coach. coach. Don't start me on this again. Coach. He's not a rookie he's, coach. He's, yes. He's coached for a long time. Well, he's got his, yes. what, his pea plates. But what, he's got green pea plates? He's, he's yeah, he's right. So he's I, I just don't wow. think that's the end. He's not fully licensed. Wayne is the answer, and Wayne could fall into their lap if they're smart about it. That's yeah. what they need to do. Yeah. And if Jason, with all due respect, he didn't want to go to the Dragons or got cold feet to go to the Dragons, mm. is Parramatta in a better situation than... Yeah, I think they are. There's a lot of... I don't know. I think they're in a better position. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Does he just sit there and wait for Craig again? Anyway, I mightn't get to that. Let's just sort of throw a name out there. <laughs> yeah, it's got to. It's got to be Wayne. It has to be Wayne. Yeah. Okay. But I'm with you. I think they're going to be way too slow. Things yes. will go by. Yeah. They'll That's sit on their point. hands, yeah. and Wayne will potentially be at South, yeah. which will be terrible for Parramatta because I don't yeah. know where they go to outside of, of Wayne. We say South Wayne Bennett. When do they hit the button on that move? Well, they got Melbourne this week yeah. in Melbourne. Anzac into, Day into Penrith. That, the Independence. Mm. Those two. And Rusty's back in town now. They've got a board meeting Friday week, I think. I yep. think it's the 30th. Is that Friday week? It's about then. Yeah, about then. So oh, sorry, Tuesday week. Tuesday week they've got a board meeting. So, um, you know, it might heat up next week, maybe. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, we, we mm. let's talk on the Sharks. Two big events mm. out of the Cronulla yesterday. Let's talk on, uh, or let's reflect positively first, I guess, on Dale Finucane's career um, and the warrior that he was on the field but the gentleman <coughs> he, he was off the field from a media perspective yep. always outstanding to, to deal with always cheerful always polite always respectful but on the field had this hard edge and it is um, a sad way for him to, to go I thought his press conference was super impressive yesterday where he said like I didn't feel like I was done um, yep. but you know thankfully uh, for everyone, the, the choice was taken out of his hands, yeah. uh, I guess. Reedy, do you see this as a, a a growing trend, I guess, in the game now that we're going to see more of this? Or what? what's your take on it? Well, I think we will, Mick, because it's become such an issue, concussion now. Um, and with the involvement of independent doctors, I think we're, we're going to see more situations where those doctors recommend guys retire. So, yeah, I think it's going to become more of the, the norm rather than the exception. Um, he was an amazing footballer, Dale Finucan. Amazing footballer. You know, he squeezed every bit of juice out of the yeah. lemon every time he played the game. Every time. Just and you're right, hell of a guy off the field and played a mean guitar. That's good singer Launched too. the season. Good singer. Yeah. Um, and just what Craig Bellamy said about yeah. him, like he did more for the, the yeah. club than the club did for... And it's Dale impressive. arrived as a... That's massive, isn't as, it? as a first grader, but yeah. like he, he, he was a first grader right at Canterbury, yeah. but was was on the bench, wasn't getting a lot of minutes yeah. and sort of squeezed out of that club, which was 
an all-time blunder from, from the <laughs> yeah. Bulldogs. But for, for Craig to say something like that, with all the players that have oh, gone through there, outrageous. That, that, Unbelievable. that is one, of the, yeah, one of the greatest yeah. compliments you're, that yeah. I've ever heard of a player yeah. for a player us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, you can see why somebody like Bellamy or any coach would love to have a Dale Finucane in their squad. Just e- everything he has, he gave you. Yeah, absolutely yeah. everything. Um, yeah. Some, sometimes he went a little bit too hard. Yeah. Um, and that's... that's Probably cost yeah, him in the end, you know. It's just a yeah. bit too front on sometimes, but that's that happens. Um, but yeah, what a what a what a terrific career. And on the flip side, Braden Trindle, right, man? Um, <laughs> you know, just hours after, uh, you know, the rugby league community sort of paid tribute to Dale Finucan, Uh The news broke about Braden Trindle, um, you know, driving yeah. under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Um, has Not taken smart. taken some Not time smart. off from the game and. The thing is, he probably came off one of his best performances yeah. on the weekend. I thought he was outstanding for, for the Sharks and that combination of Will Kennedy, um, Nico Hines and, and, and Braden Trundle just started to, to go to a new level on the weekend. Yeah. But um, what's the, the latest on, on, on that situation? Well, and the other issue is they don't have a lot of depth in the halves. Well, they don't, Daniel yeah. Atkinson yeah. And he's, I think he's more of a fullback, isn't he, Daniel Atkinson, from memory? Oh, he's or? a half. He's a live wire half. Okay, mm. I take it back. Um, but you know he's been playing really good footy this year, Braden Trindle. Yeah. And they've sort of gone all in, haven't they, with the Hines Trindle combination? Yeah, we'll so yeah. he's really let the, let the club down, and let his teammates more, down. Sorry, but it lumps a bit more pressure on Nico too, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, Nico's already got yeah. the Shark Park on his back, but yeah. um, it's and they're tracking nicely. They were the, the Sharks at the moment, yeah. a little bit under the yeah. radar in terms of <laughs> uh, where people aren't mm. people aren't really yeah. talking about them, and that we stood. Yeah. A lot of injuries, mm. um, particularly in their forward pack to, to start the year. How, how does this change strictly from an mm. on-field perspective for um, yeah, Russ? We'll, if he's we'll out for... We'll, well, we're not sure how long Braden's going to be out well, for. Well, was taking some of that weight off Nico. So that goes back onto Nico now, which is significant. So yeah. um, they had a really nice balance going when Nico yeah. could sort of sit back and not... It didn't seem like he was having to do everything, which has been mm. a problem there for a little bit. But, um, yeah, oh, look, it's... Uh, Craig Fitzgibbon's got um, a bit of a challenge on his hands there. I think it's his, that'd be his first off-field crisis. Or st- it's a big one because right? of um, the the position that he plays, mm. the lack of depth that they have, yeah. how the side was tracking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is a it is a big one. I, mean, I, I imagine he'll be back at some point. It's not as oh, if it's, yeah, be, it's yeah, not as if it's it won't be season ending. Season for him, ending I wouldn't have thought. So no. we're talking. You know, they might have, have to go without him for a few weeks. I think a, maybe a month at, really? at the very least a month yeah. I'd, su- I'd suggest yeah. with, so, with all the yeah. uh, obviously still waiting that um, secondary result from yeah. the yeah. drug test and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have a bit more of an understanding under that but he's ticked a lot of boxes in, in terms of yeah. um, unlicensed or expired yeah. license yeah. drink driving <laughs> and drugs so that's, yeah. a, that's a lot and, and yeah. we've seen players punish between two to three weeks generally for yep. one of those one. offences. Yeah. So you, you couple them all together, I think mm-hmm. he's at least a month on the sideline. So it's lucky they banked some wins early, mm-hmm. really, because it's given them a bit of breathing space yeah. if they can't overcome it. I mean, I think they're a good enough team. And you know what? They're a well-enough coach side. Like, they're just about the best coach side in the comp. Mm-hmm. You know, if not the best, they're in the top half, three so or four. Ra- Raiders, Dragons, that, Storm, Roosters. So it's, it's a so decent... It's not an insurmountable... Yeah. Considering draw, so. where the Raiders are at in terms of their own yeah. woes this week, so, yeah. so uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a death, a death sentence no. for him. I think they'll be, I think they'll be fine. They'll get through it, and, and hopefully he comes back once he's sorted himself out. He needs to sort himself out. That, that's the main thing. Once he's done that, he comes back in that team, and, and they'll get a boost, I suppose. Really, a fairly significant um, <coughs> update in the last twenty four hours on a story that you've been all over from from last season. Uh, mm. The situation at the Bulldogs. Uh, can you run us through um, what, what's happened there over the last 24 hours? Yeah, look, Jackson Tope on Young Ford. We, we reported on this last year. He was never named because he had some mental health issues last year um, when he was at the Dogs. He'd been late for training um, as a form of punishment. He was made to wrestle um, all his other teammates. And basically after that, he took some, uh, some leave, some mental health leave. Um, he's now taken legal action, launched legal proceedings in the Supreme Court of New South Wales against Canterbury uh, over what's happened. Um, you know, and we've got to see how it p- plays out. But you know, that'll that'll go to court next month. They'll set a date. I think it'll be quite some time away before it actually the hearing begins. But um, you know, really difficult time for that young fella because he hasn't played football since. Uh, he's no longer at the club. He's been wiped off their website. Um, 
And, you know, I, I, in his head, I don't think... Uh, I think he's resigned to not playing the game again. So um, there's talk about a $4 million lawsuit against mm. Canterbury, which shows you how significant it is. Uh, I guess aside from this inc uh, incident alone, mm. Russ, which is going to play out over yep. the, um, a, a court case, how does this potentially change the culture in rugby league clubs going forward and, and mm. you know, what happens at in pre-season and punishments and the like. Mm, yeah, oh, look, you know, and they are allegations and, um, but yeah, on the on that front, yeah, maybe it does force a bit of a rethink. We got around a few clubs last when when we broke this yeah. story last. We went around a few clubs to see how they yeah, do it. True. Um, we had a we had a, a handful who don't have any punishments. There's others with wheels and all sorts yeah. of things like that. And maybe Not too many were doing this from memory. No, a lot no, of them, a lot of them no. have. They were, they were funnier. There was, jovial punishments, yes, that's right? right. Yeah. Die in your hair. We've yeah. seen that. Well, Shave Liam, Liam Knight yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. right. and yes. I know some of the weekend his hair's back to its normal. So there's you know, or you got to eat chilies, or you got to. Pay right. a fine yeah. or wash a car, wash yeah, the coach's there's, car. There's some sort of, yeah. and they're for minor yeah. infringements, yeah. right? Yeah. Like being yeah. two minutes late to a meeting or whatever the case may be, forgetting something or yeah. whatever the case may be, right? These aren't serious offences. No. And well, this was a, this was being late for training session. Well, it's so, arguable. Well, he's, mm, he's arguing that he wasn't yeah. late. Yeah, he's right? arguing he wasn't late. But, but you're that right, was it's, a was, minor, yeah. it's a minor, it's a minor, it's, it's a minor yeah. infringement, yeah. right? We're not talking Braden Trindle S where there's proper punishment for coming. Um, these are, what do you think, Reedy? Does this change cultures? Does it adjust a, a shift in? Is there um, a, a, a mental shift? I'm sure other clubs will be keeping on it, Mick, because um, you know it's a pretty significant court case. If, if it gets that far, I'd imagine they'll settle it before then. But if it gets that far, um, it'll have pretty serious ramifications, I yeah. would think, yeah, uh, yeah. for football clubs. As I said, I don't, I don't think too many clubs go down this path now. I mean, a lot of them do the spin the wheel thing, which is, yeah. or roll the dice, yeah. which is, you know, I think it's a lot more in this, yeah. in this day and age, a lot more um, suited to to the to those sort of incidents that require that sort of punishment. So, look, I'm sure the Bulldogs are looking at their systems after mm. this, and, and I'd be surprised that they would do this again, yeah. given the backlash it's caused and the, and the yeah. repercussions of it. It is certainly going to be... An interesting story to, oh, yeah. to monitor and mm. and see how it plays out because it may affect not just one club but 16 oh, yeah. other clubs in, in the NRL. Yeah, they have huge yeah. ramifications. Yeah, it's, it's, the Bulldogs are forced to yeah. to pay millions in a, a payout to a former player over training ground punishment, yeah. Mm. Yeah. over pushing him too far in the training paddock. There's no doubt it'll have ramifications. And who knows what else will come out in court? Precisely. You know, so that that's yeah. um, the, the potential. There are a few signing news today. Um, Jack Cleary to the, yeah. from Penrith to the Warriors. David Rico had that story on the Telegraph this morning. It's a um, big story. Like it, it's, it's a strange sort of left field, though, isn't it? It is strange in, in, in a way because you always sense that if, like, Jet, and we saw, I remember Ivan being so steadfast in how much he hated coaching against Nathan when he was yeah. at the Tigers. Yeah. Do you remember that? Like, those, yeah. those yeah, yeah, like he just yeah. said it was yeah. a nightmare, it was uncomfortable, yeah. all this sort of stuff. So, um, you know, I, I, I just don't know that if, if Jet ends up being a good first grader, you always get the sense that he will end up back at, at yeah. Penrith. Yeah. Um, so if you're the Warriors, why? What, 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 what are you gaining? What, what are you, you gaining? Yeah. That's my only... Um, sense of it, I think it's intriguing, and you know the respect that a Andrew Webster has from the Clearies, obviously, yep. and we know the, the relationship that Ivan still has with the Warriors. It's, yep. you know, yep. he loves Penrith, yeah, but he's got a, a, an ultimate soft mm. spot and a desire, really, for the Warriors mm. to succeed as well. So, um, I think it's a good move for Jet to get out of Sydney, yeah, out of the yeah, spotlight, it it's good. out of the shadows of yep. not only his dad but his brother. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do find the whole thing a little bit interesting because if he ends up being a really good player and an NRL player, there's going to back. <laughs> there'll be a Cleary yeah. Cleary yeah. halves yeah, combination yeah, yeah, yeah. at Penrith, wouldn't yeah. it? Well, there was a lot, lot of talk that he's a really, really good footballer. Yeah. I saw him at the Schoolboys Carnival last year. Mm. Uh, he was he, you know, he was an outstanding player at that carnival. Um, and talking to people at Penrith about him this year, they say he's been really good uh, in the lower grades. And I think I'm told that one of the reasons he's going is because. And I, this was second hand, so take this uh, as you will. Was that Ivan felt for his development, it'd be best for him to get away from, um, away from yeah, the clearing, yeah. the clearing name, yeah. right, yeah. and go and yeah. go and develop yeah. on your own. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and full credit to him for allowing mm. and for Jet 
yeah. getting out of his comfort zone to yeah. go. That's a big call. Test himself yeah, yeah, in another country yeah. too, right? Se- seventeen or eighteen. Seventeen. 17. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a it takes a lot of heat off the kid, doesn't it? Because yeah. you can imagine if he stayed here. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. and now out of the spotlight yeah, from yeah, good. us and yep. other fans. Yeah, and, you'd yeah, be all and over him. And the, and the yeah, like. You'd be hammering him. <laughs> <imagine>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I do find it uh, interesting. And a bit of Dolphins, Cowboys news, Finney, Fuiaki. Should we tell them? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Finney <laughs> okay. Fuiaki um, is off to the Dolphins. Huge signing. Yeah, Huge next signing. season. He may be the best young forward uh, in the game just about at the moment. Uh, Finney Fiwiaki. Uh, Cowboys tried to keep him, mm. um, but ultimately he's made the decision. He's actually from South East Queensland, so in a sense he's going home. Um, and he's a great signing for the Dolphins. I mean, they, they, they're sort of ageing. They've got an ageing yeah. forward yeah, pack. Yeah. Kenny scale. Bromwich, uh, Felice Cafusi, Jesse Bromwich. Mm. They're all towards the end of their Mark careers. Nichols, Mark Nichols. All, yeah. And he is a young kid who I don't think we've really seen the best of him this no. year. But he's a kid who a lot of people in the game think is going to be a superstar. And you throw him in with Flegler, who's, yep. you know, yep. lots of upside. And yep. I think Max Plath has shown oh, how good is he? that he's going to be a really, yeah. really good NRL player as well from yeah. what we've seen so far this yeah. year. So yeah. um, massive sign in there, Russ. Yeah, and yeah, they've done really well. Like, as you said, the ageing roster and they're bringing this new breed into the club and it's it looks good. I Obviously like, the Dragons like are doing for him too. Dragons are uh, for him, yeah. But he, he's opted to, to stay in Queensland and, you know, <laughs> A couple of hours later, after we had that story, the Cowboys put out a statement that Heelan Lukey yeah. has just re-signed yeah, to 2029. So yeah. they yeah. softened that blow yeah. significantly yeah. with yeah. Uh, Heelan, who had an option. I think it was his way for, for his next option, season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reedy, but now he's inked a long-term deal to, to remain at the Cowboys. Yeah, and obviously we haven't seen the best team either because he's just had so many injuries. Poor yeah. old Heelan Lukey. But I think, again, we saw flashes of it earlier this year before yeah. he got injured that uh, he's a really talented footballer. Another player that... The Dragons are after. The Dolphins are after him. Mm. He decided to stay. They switched their focus yeah. to Finny Fuiaki. Um, the Dragons are the odd one out. Who did it? They did sign Luciano Leilua yeah. uh, earlier this year. So, um, yeah, bit of movement there for, okay. for North Queensland's <laughs> forwards. They've got to keep Jaden Sewer now. They have to that keep is Jayden an absolute Sewer, yeah. priority. Because when you they have Pierce Sewer and Leilua on either side with, with a fire in Suley, yep. uh, yeah. and then the way Lomax has, has been playing, or Jack, whoever the case may be, yep. it really shapes as a... Do they bump the offer up to Sewer now? Because he's holding out for more cashola, right? Well, they've been pretty firm, the Dragons. I think they moved slightly. Do you from... think they have to move again now, though? Just depend on what else is out there. I don't know. I don't know. There's not much else I, out I there. I don't know how much they've offered him. To be fair, yeah, okay. so I thought you uh, knew everything that went on. In that club. <laughs> I don't know the number that they've I offered. Thought you were on the football uh, committee. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> but I think they would have made him a fairly, a fairly significant <laughs> offer. Uh, big injury news. No, Calum Ponga. No, Jamal Fogarty uh, for uh, the Knights yeah. and the Raiders, respectively. Who, more, who's more likely to oh, win God. without one of those players? Um, Oh, gee, that's a tough question, isn't it? What are the, what are the Knights, 38% or something without... without <laughs> I reckon, it's, like, a, I reckon right. it's, a, it's an easy one, the Raiders. <laughs> they, they, they're, they're more chance of winning. Yes, without, without Fogarty, yeah. Because yeah. you've got Fogarty, oh, you've got, um, you got the other kid in the... In well, the as, re- as reliant strange, as they are on Fogarty, right, they're not as reliant on Fogarty mm. as the Knights are on Ponga. Mm. Yep. The Knights don't look, look like winning mm. a game without Kalen. Mm. Well, they don't look like making a line break without no. Kalen. At so, the moment, the Knights. Yeah, and the halves are... They just need to sort their, just sort your halves out. Everything Stick just looks slow at Newcastle yeah. at the moment. Everything yeah. everything yeah. just looks like, for some reason in the pre-season, they've all just come to a grinding halt yeah. after after the back of it. They just look slow at the moment, the Knights. I, I love that long kicking game of Fogarty's, though. He does he, oh, it's, it's he does get them out of trouble. Oh, um, oh. He puts them into good spots with those kicks. His, his boot is enormous. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I wasn't That's on the Raiders at all at the start this year. I think they've been super... No. I think they've been it impressive. It was noted in the nation's capital. Oh, uh, wow, really? I uh, think Ricky's got your head on a dartboard. <laughs> One coach apparently has been it's using some things f- that I've said. Is that right? Yeah. Who you got? <laughs> They're going those. good too, the side that I've ridden off. Fogarty's one of those guys. Not the watch, Raiders. When you're watching live, though, when he when he whacks the ball, it's it's unbelievable how far he can kick the thing. I, I, there are some guys who can I'll just kick look at the cover ladder to work out who you've written off. I don't I don't think. Um, oh, you put a line through them early, didn't you? The Raiders. The Raiders. I had them bottom four to start yeah. the year, and I don't think without Fogarty they can make the eight. And Newcastle no chance of making the eight without no Kalen. No. Do you have either of them now in, in your top eight? Uh Oh, I had Newcastle made, I think, no, 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 before but the meant, season no, no, I'm began. About now, now. But no, I know I was about to get to oh, that, sorry. Michael. Yeah. Uh, but no, I don't have them in there now. What about the Raiders? 
Uh, I didn't have him in there to start but with. But like, would you? Like, um, where they sitting no, at the moment? You know, with, eight at if the they moment, kept Fogarty, I'd have said there were a chance of staying there. Yeah, without Fogarty. Without, yeah, you know, I was getting to that, Michael. <laughs> I was getting to that. Now I don't think they will. Okay, thank sorry, you. Sorry, sorry, Cameron. Uh, yeah, I agree. Sorry, Rick. I agree with you on both, both. those. Oh, okay. I don't have the Knights in my eight without Kalen. And were they in your eight before the season began? Were, yeah, yeah, I think they were seventh or eighth. Mm. Um, I didn't have Raiders in my top eight, but yeah. they have some. You had them for the spoon, I think, didn't you? Who? Raiders. No, no, bottom four. Oh, Who did you have for the spoon? I think Tigers. Oh, cool. Okay. Think Tigers. Benji, we trust. Well, there's only, well, Newcastle, South, Titans. They're all a chance for a spoon at the moment. I don't. <coughs> the Tigers won't. I shouldn't. The Tigers won't get it. Desi's never got a spoon. Tigers won't get it. D- Desi's never got a spoon. Um, you think they're a chance? Did you work out the club that I, I wrote off? That's I'm thinking you on, wrote off. That's going all right. Are you saying when you say all right, top eight? No. Oh, okay. They're going all right. It wasn't Flano, was it? <laughs> yeah, of course it was. Oh, there you go. You're on the football committee. I, I imagine he'd be filthy with you. I'm not on the football committee <laughs> there. All right, questions. Oh. Um, from Chris. Why does the NRL only announce one expansion bit at a time? No, why not get the next three franchises sorted now and set up a roadmap for when the club enters like the MLS have done? This allows them to establish grassroots early <laughs> among other benefits. I like that. I'm with Chris on that. I reckon they should announce uh, a roadmap. I think that's a really good idea. I think at the moment they're purely focused on PNG and, and that 18th team in PNG. They're not even bothering talking to other other, yeah. uh, other expansion bidders. But I think that's a good idea, Mick. I think they should come out and say, if, if they decide to go with PNG, mm-hmm. PNG yeah. in 27, yeah. in 29, or yeah. th- we're going to go with a, a nine, well, we'll... We'll announce two new teams in Perth and New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. in twenty. Right. We'll announce yeah. two new teams yeah. at twenty-seven. Yeah, four they thirty. They've sort of flagged that they're going to be pretty close, didn't they? Yeah. Like PNG comes in and then and then bang bang yeah. pretty pretty quickly. I think there is. I think there was some hope or flag in that potential. All right, roadmap yeah. that yep. uh, Chris yeah. speaks of, but I think you're right, really. They'll get to eighteen at some point mm. yep. this year, sooner rather than later. Mm. It's it's interesting that the PM is actually in. PNG at What's the moment. What's happening there, Michael? Well, I'm sure rugby league gets a mention. You've got a no you've doubt. Got a, you've got a link to PNG. <laughs> yeah, you've got a, I've got links everywhere apparently, yeah, according to yeah. you. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> yeah, do you so, think he's talking league while he's up there? Or what? I think they'll get a mention. Really? Yeah, I don't think it's okay. going to sit there and uh, dominate the meeting <laughs> with uh, the, between the two prime ministers. But um, there's, do. there's no doubt that it will. Is PBL going with him up there? Or no, 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 okay. I don't think so. Um, building the dream. Is there a reason why the historical Anzac game between the Storm and Warriors was dropped? I think this was because the Warriors wanted their own Anzac Day game. That's yeah. why it changed. The Warriors wanted oh, to host yeah. a game in. And so did the Storm. Yes. And so, they traditionally hosted one, the Storm. Yeah. So That's why. <coughs> uh, yeah, the Warriors wanted to, to host a game, which they should. Um, yeah. And it is such a... Becoming a marquee event in Melbourne as well, so the yeah. Storm didn't want to yeah. lose it. So... That's why we've got three games on Anzac Day, and I think it helps that it's on a Thursday. Yep. Uh, it doesn't cause too much havoc with the draw being on the Thursday because if it's on a Wednesday or Tuesday, whatever the case may be, when Anzac Day does can fall on, yep. it makes it a little bit more difficult to have okay. multiple teams in, in and around Good with point. short turnarounds Good and the like. Good point. Um, John T wants to know your favourite Anzac Day game. Remember, we've got the rooster, <laughs> Russ, next to me. Well, um, it's hard to... It's, oh, I, I found this. Uh, thanks for the question, uh, Jonty. Um, I found it hard to narrow down to one, but if I if I had to, I'd say Sonny Williams, 2013, that little inside pass to Anthony Minicello. That's uh, Mitchell Pierce for Anthony Minicello to scoot away and score. It nice. was unbelievable. Nice. Little step, little step at the line, pop that pass had two or three guys on him, and I thought, wow, this is this guy's a special. I knew he was good, yeah. but seeing that live, that so. Moment. Something good could happen here, and yeah. we know what happened in 2013. Can I just give you a little side story quickly? I'd love nothing more than So, there's only story. one other Jaunty that I know, I've known in my life. That's Jaunty Rhodes, a cricketer. Yeah. Remember Rhodes. him? Yes. One of the great yeah, cricketers. Great my friend mates used to think I look like Jaunty Rhodes. In fact, oh, one yeah. of my mates used to call me Jaunty. You do. Trivia. I have that photo that we have to run of you that we <laughs> No, it's not running. Like uh, my favourite game, two, 2015, I think it was, when the game got stopped because of that storm. Oh, that was crazy, over. hey. Oh, that was yes. nuts. Who's that? 
Have you ever been at a game that's been stopped before? No, I don't think so. Not for memory. We hailed that day, didn't it? Yeah, hailed yeah, and lightning. You could see that cloud. <laughs> yeah. That clouds were coming yeah. over. It was just it was like nuts. black as. And, then, and the game, then it was gone. Then the yeah, game got right. a bit crazy yeah. too. Yeah, it did. Like, the coaches went off at each other. That's and right. yeah. That was, um, that was good. Was that there, was there some sort of tunnel? <laughs> Nick between, was all over that. Between, yeah. uh, Is that your that favourite game? That was my first back page of the telly, actually. Ooh, what a historic moment. Take us back. No, no, no. There was dramas. Was that that day? There was a drama. There's been lots of drama. There was a yeah. couple of years yeah. in a row where there was dramas on yeah, Anzac yeah. Day games yeah. where, you know, Trent Robinson saying the Dragons were laying down and the Dragons right. taking exception. Yeah. 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 And one of them um, post-game where Trent Robinson and all Paul McGregor confronted Trent Robinson yes. um, yeah. as well. So there's been, there's been so a lot. We're due for one of those, aren't we? We're Hopefully. Yeah. Well, my favourite okay. one was uh, 05, I think it was, with the Matt Head chip chase try, oh, yeah. conversion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Matt one. Cooper scoring in the corner. Good and then one. Matt Head, Matt Head. Oh, well, you would have been like 12 at nah, the time, nah, wouldn't nah, you? Nah. And Matty Head, um, <laughs> greatest moment in first grade for, for yeah. Matty Head, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. What other moments did you have there, Russ? What else? Well, what about Fr- Freddie Step? Brad Fiddler, 2004. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. there. Yeah. And, and, and Rabs me. yelling out, go Freddie. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was all time. I can't remember last week's game. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing here the Anzac Day games <laughs> 10 years ago. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this might be one for you. I love it. Oh, what do you got? This is from NRA Immortal. Why do the Roosters recruitment escape any pressure? Extended Teddy in March 2023 at 30. He wasn't off contract until 24. For 25 when he would be 32 and wasn't needed, eventually costing them Manu. Manu should have replaced Teddy in 25. It's easy for people to say that. But you're talking about James Tedesco. Mm. New South Wales Australian captain, one of the greatest players of our time, yeah. our generation. You know, To suggest they should have shipped, away, shipped off Teddy, I just find that whole argument ridiculous. I really find it... It's just insane. Like you're talking about, he was the Australian fullback. He still is the Australian fullback. Still Australian and this bloke, NRL, he's now immortal in my eyes. This oh bloke. wow! <laughs> he's, why, wow. why would you ship away Teddy? I mean, it's insane. Well, let's ask the Roosters fans. Well, it looks like Manu's not going to be away for very long anyway. Um, you, you but look, come back? I don't know if they escaped scrutiny. I mean, Buzz last week questioned the re-signing yeah. of Luke Keary, who's you know, mm. obviously very popular. It's mm-hmm. very hard for me to agree on that, but it is. 100%. That's the one I've got a problem with. I've got no problem yeah. with them re-signing, re-signing Teddy. Um, you know, Manu's coming. Manu should be coming back after 12 rounds, and then he takes over. Actually, some I actually think they've recruited reasonably well. Yeah. It's just for some reason they're not yeah. playing well. No, I mean, the squad's good. Brandon Smith's yeah, yeah, a good. Yeah. You know, they recruited Bre- no, recent years. They've recruited Brandon. I, I think the Dom issue Young, is like for Spencer Lenu yeah. for came next the game. years, and we know they'll strike eventually. But they lose Manu, Swalehi, mm. Jared, Tupac, potentially Daniel. Potentially. Yeah. Um, but, but the so suggestion there from the immortal is that re-signing Teddy has meant that they've lost Manu because which of is that. Probably, and, you know, which is, is probably a there's fair an argument, point. There's right? an argument there for But that's that. life. You can't. Yeah. But we have seen, though, Reedy, mm. when they'll ha- they were comfortable to sign Cooper Cronk mm. to let Mitchell Pearce go. True. Mm. And if but they, Teddy was still playing great football. So was Mitchell Pearce. Yeah, I guess so. And Well, the Tigers would have taken him. Benji, I think, reached mm. out to him at one point. James Tedesco. He did? Yes. Yeah, anyone would. Yeah, oh, I don't think they would have. He wouldn't have... Yeah. Struggle to find okay. a club, no. so he, he would have landed. He would have landed. A lot of somewhere. clubs have got fullbacks, though. Mind you, the Tigers have got a good fullback now, and Jareen Buller. So. I'm sure if James Tedesco was on the open market, there'd be clubs oh, clamouring to sign him. I don't think there'd be a million of them, just because most of them got fullbacks these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so Manly going to sign him over Tommy, are they? <laughs> Brisbane over Reese Walsh, Newcastle <laughs> over Caelan Ponga, North Queensland over Scott Drinkwater. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Okay then. You were going well until. Okay, let me go. Did you see Scott Drinkwater play sports. on the weekend? Mate, he almost played the New South Wales team last year. Yeah, who kept him out? Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ben, coming over the ditch for State of Origin. Gold Coast over AJ Brimson. Yes. Do you want to keep going? <laughs> Jaden Campbell. <laughs> Canterbury over. Yes. College. <laughs> Canterbury, take him. There you go. Yeah. Ben. Canola over William Kennedy. Yes. <laughs> okay. How many have we got? Melbourne over Paps. Maybe not. No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but <laughs> I never said there'd be every club in free. Yeah, did. Okay. Ben wants to know, I'm coming over the ditch for State of Origin. Oh, yeah. Best food places to try in Sydney. He loves Buzz's Asian-inspired oh, food. So oh, one, one place to go. Mr. Wong's. Mr. Wong's, baby. <laughs> Mr. Wong's. What about Chin Chin? Chin Chin? I don't think I've ever been. I love Chin Chin. Chin Chin's good. But I love Chin Chin. Mr. Wong, we got to we got a big up. What about Mr. Queen Chow? Queen Chow, I've been to Queen Chow. Get yourself over to Manly. I've been to Queen Chow and more. And go to Queen, Queen Chow and Manly. Very yeah, good. Yeah, I've been to one. Okay. No, no, Chin Chin. Mr. Wong's. I'm going Chin Chin. I'm, I'm Mr. Wong. I, I think that's... Then let us know. And if you're going to Mr. Wong, you've got to get the um, pork. 
magnificent. What's that pork? Oh, the pork yeah. belly. Let us know a bit when you're when you're a bit closer. Ben, Give us a review. We can, ben. Um, Do them both. Ben Chin know. Chin and yep. Mr Wong. Yes. Let us know which one's better. Mm. And yep. who, whoever's better gets bragging rights <laughs> <laughs> and hosts the show. <laughs> you get a host. Could you imagine? Don't you host Monday sometimes? Host Monday, yeah. And how does that it's go? It's a very, very smoothly run show. How, are, much, we, how much input do you have in that the running of that show? None. I just host. <laughs> it turns up. <laughs> What are you about to I say? brought in a new segment. Did at the you? End of it, what yeah. is it? Because you do cooking, we do a, a show. I recommend a television show. Show to every watch every week. Yeah, every week. Yeah. What did you recommend on Monday? Well, I started watching June. Okay. But I didn't get all the way through it. But it looked good. The bit, bit I saw. I haven't watched the show for ages. I'm, we're still catching. Well, up you can't on, come on our show. We're still catching up on Survivor. Like I love Survivor. Oh my god. Australian Survivor. Oh, it's still. You've been catching up on that. For well, long. hello. It finished we, three months well, ago. Well, you have a child midway through. Or well, I did it. Well, you can You can watch TV with the bub. Well, there's a lot going on in my house. <laughs> what show are you watching at the moment? Uh, we, yeah, we, your just, segment. Well, we just started. Um, yeah, we'll tell you. So let's steal it. Yeah, good steal. Yeah, uh, it. We've uh, started on MasterChef. Well, I don't. I've never, okay. watched MasterChef. never watched MasterChef. You've never watched MasterChef. Never watched it. No. You never watched MasterChef. But my wife's, com- my wife's company sponsors it, so she has to watch it from well, an advertising point of view. So, oh, okay. yeah. So from an advertising oh, sorry, point of view. Don't say unless she has um, to pay if she wants to. So we have to make sure that all the products are displayed properly and stuff. And yeah. Can I say I love cooking shows. I love it. I love uh, the cool. But I do I like it. Shows. I'm enjoying this. I've only really watched Survivor. You know what I've noticed in MasterChef? They use a lot of lamb, uh, oh, rosemary, oh, garlic, and oh, lemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emails. Air Brendan. fryers? No, I've just seen an air fryer. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan wants to know, who would be the best value for age player in the comp? The obvious ones are DC and Sean Johnson for me. Your mm. thoughts? Okay. What are they, 34? What are they, 34? I think in terms of, <laughs> if we're looking at okay. value, is it, uh, I'm assuming that comes with their price tag. Two, okay. right? Not just value for age. The value for age, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. Um, so veterans who still, still got it, who are still playing well. On yeah. a, I think Sean Johnson's awesome because Johnson's yeah. not on a big wicket. Yeah. Where DC is still on big money, deservedly so, because mm. yeah. uh, he's the number two halfback in the game for mine. Yeah. Um, I know they've had, I know they've had a tough start of the year. Kieran Foran, it's not on huge money up there. But yeah, but like he's probably on the equivalent of Sean. Johnson. Can I throw one at you? I'm going to throw one at you, left oh, fieldy. Here we go. Aaron Woods, our mate. <laughs> He's on nothing. He's on nothing. The great Aaron Woods. I oh, know. Great fella. Paid nothing. Smell of an oily rag, but yeah. still. So that's your nomination, Aaron he's Woods. He's still having a go. Aaron Woods. That's just a shout out. The Woods you tried to rig before. No. Okay, you want someone? I've got Toops. I think Daniel Tupo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, a good, yeah, great. He's doing good. His that's numbers good have been amazing. Jared's like he's been pretty good too. Fifth in run meters in the competition. He's averaging more than anybody else at the Roosters, 167. And that's, that's you know, you've got, got Tedesco and Manu there. Tommy Burgess. Line Maybe breaks nine. I'm still going here. He's still got nine line breaks this year. He's coming second for line breaks, Tupo. Oh, my God. He's cool. So. I just like I like his. I was going through some numbers before, and I like what I see from Big Toops. Yeah, okay. He's still got it. He's still got it. Thirty-two. <laughs> he's going to retire though. Unfortunately, I'd like to see him go around again. Just on Jet Cleary, the Warriors have just put through. He's nineteen, and it's a three-year deal. So interesting. He's nineteen. He's now. nineteen. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So he'll play first grade over there, I'd imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And last one, Corey. How do you ankle tap a supporting <laughs> player and not get the ten in the bin? Oh, well, so there's your Schneider on Justin Ollum. Ollum, yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy old decision, wasn't it? Just shocker. Ridic- ridiculous. Absolute Barry Crocker. No, no, shocker there. Shocker. Somebody should be rested. Well, everyone gets rested at the moment. <laughs> That's why uh, Mobsy and Buzz aren't here. They've been rested. Uh, mm. And dinner, Russ, tonight. What's on the menu oh, for... Oh, goodness me. Um, oh, I might go out for dinner tonight because the kids yeah, are away. always go out The kids are away. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Might, um, might pub it, I think. Might pub we it. We love a pub feed. Yeah, might pub <laughs> it. So. Uh, Charing Cross Hotel. I think I've given them a pub before. Oh, okay. Um, you said I can do signings up there. <laughs> so, and signings from yeah. s- signings from seven till seven fifteen. Seven oh one. Yeah, signings from seven till seven fifteen. Then I've got to focus on dinner. So, come uh, and say I've got day. soccer training tonight with the kids. Got to coach my oldest son's no, soccer team. That restricts what we cook. So it means I won't be cooking tonight. Okay. Although the uh, air fryer could come in handy tonight. <laughs> she's not the best cook. I'll be honest with you. She's she's very limited in her her repertoire. <laughs> yeah. So she, uh, what I actually what I do like of hers is a zucchini bake. She hasn't cooked in a while. You ever put a bit of tomato no. relish? Well, the, 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 the question is, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> not, what, not what your favourite meal oh, that I'm your gonna, wife I'm is I'm going to encourage my wife to cook zucchini bake. How does she go with your encouragement? She doesn't take it kindly. <laughs> does she? But I think she likes zucchini bake too. Okay. But if you get a bit of tomato relish with it, okay. it's very nice. Air fryer? No, no. She, no. I mean, she hasn't okay. worked out the air fryer yet. <laughs> I've used the air fryer two, two days oh, in yeah. a row. And? 
I've cooked uh, chicken thigh fillets in it because I'm, I'm on a diet. They've come up pretty good, yeah. yeah. And I bought, intriguing, this is intriguing, I went to the, uh, when I was at Woolies the other day, I saw broccoli, air fry broccoli. So okay. it's broccoli, put in the air fryer, it cooks. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's, actually, you probably put it in a, it's probably no different to buying broccoli and putting it in a steamer. But anyway, it All was right. air fry broccoli. Right. <laughs> Uh, do another segment next, no, year, next no, week. That's on, that can be, if you want more great content, listen to the Monday show. <laughs> otherwise, no, we do TV shows, mate. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. All right, I'm at my in laws tonight, so I'm not sure what's for dinner. And that's it. So enjoy um, three games on Anzac Day as we commemorate the day, heading into another blockbuster <laughs> round of rugby league. Thanks for joining the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. Mm-hmm.